Welcome to the lawyerfair.co.uk daily podcast. Lawyerfair helps businesses find the right lawyer at the fairest price. But on this podcast, we just chew the fat with some great guests. So hello, it is the Lawyer Fair Daily Podcast, and uh, although we try and make these every day, we are sometimes unable to uh, meet high expectations. And the last couple of days, well, we've only had the minor interference of being of Lawyer Fair uh, being a finalist in a national business uh, competition down in Bristol. Uh, hello to the pitch, and hello to James at Resolver, who... Uh, Drat, he won it. He took away the trophy, but anyway, it was a fantastic day. And that's a great business as well, resolverco.uk. And I've also had the minor inconvenience of having to try and run a little startup. So, but we are back. And if you are going to be back, why not come back with a chat with the world's largest free business accelerator, which is Entrepreneurial Spark. And I'm very pleased to be welcoming today on the podcast, Eleanor Birchall. Welcome, Eleanor. Hello there. Hi, no, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, you are the world's largest free business accelerator. What, what, what's the background to Entrepreneurial Spark? The background to Entrepreneurial Spark, it's, it's, we've got quite a, a rich history, really. Um, we were founded by our CEO, Jim Duffy, up in Scotland. Um, and really, to be completely honest, Entrepreneurial Spark was born out of uh, a failed startup. So Jim had an, um, started a business that up in Scotland, invested a large sum of money, and and the business failed. And I think that that really led him to sort of consider what support and what what more accountability needs to be out there for early stage ventures. So we 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 began. He began in Scotland with three accelerators. And we've now been scaling up and, and rolling out across the UK with our partnership with RBS and NatWest. And when, when did it start? When, when did this moment, the first um, accelerator open? The first accelerator um, opened a couple of years ago, actually, and we've been running for a few years now. We, um, but the, the, the rollout across the UK has been very recent. So, in fact, um, we set up in the UK about 12 months ago and we've been rolling out seven new hatcheries. And I mean Jim's got a particular vision I mean it's, it's kind of set on the website the real vision isn't it to, to try and enable positive social change through entrepreneurship so uh, that's right and, and that's kind of obviously the driving force so what actually um, what actually how do how are businesses assisted Eleanor with entrepreneurial spark? Sorry, I didn't hear the rest of that question. Uh, how, what, what kind of assistance is available to businesses? And, and also, what are the size of businesses that can apply? So we are, um, we are open to all sorts of businesses. We're completely non-sector specific, which means we take entrepreneurs from all different industries and at all different stages, right from concept up to about £5 million turnover. Um, we are free at point of contact, which means we don't take a fee and we don't take any um, equity. And we provide them with a whole host of infrastructure and support. So we remove barriers by providing office space, free Wi-Fi, desks, and a ready-made network of entrepreneurs. And we also provide um, a network of over 50 mentors. We have workshops and training, financial mentorship through our partnership with KPMG. And we also run um, a proprietary enablement program, which is six months with the potential of staying on for another 12 months after that, um, where entrepreneurs can work one-on-one -on -one with an enabler, which is my role within Entrepreneurial Spark. And you were telling me before that you're, you're, you're you know, very, very busy down in Brighton. Is it 40, 40 startups that you're dealing with with your, with your colleague down there? Yes. So we um, each accelerator space um, has 80, can take up to 80 different businesses. Um, and within each accelerator, there'll be two enablers who will work with 40 businesses each. Okay. So on a day-to-day -day business, basis I'm working with 40 different startup businesses. Well fascinating I mean and, and the startups down in Brighton are they uh, I mean they are are they a classic cross-section of what you've just described in terms of you know sector agnostic and, and different stages of development? Absolutely yeah oh, wow. <laughs> we really have all sorts yeah. <laughs> um, so 
you know, uh, down in Brighton, we have quite a few food and drink businesses, but we've also got a, a, a sort of a growing network of tech companies as well. Um, and, and, you know, it really can be any, any type of business that come in. No, oh, fascinating. And, and, and how does the relationship with, with RBS NatWest work then? What are the, or what are the benefits to, to those companies that are, that are um, in the accelerator programs with you? Um, so we're, we're very much powered by um, NatWest, which means that we are independent, but um, they are, we are sitting within um, RBS and NatWest buildings mm. throughout the UK. So that, 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 at that point, you know, they are providing us with very much the office space. Oh, you're, you're, actually, in, you're actually in so, the bank buildings, are you? That's where the accelerators are? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So we actually, we take two floors um, in the Brighton Hatchery in, within an RBS building. Um, and there are, you know, we, we take floors in, in other buildings across the UK. Um, so that's where, you know, they, they're really supporting us um, in, that, in that respect. But for them, um, the support really, it's, it's building trust and advocacy. And they can't really put a price on that. Um, in two years' time, when we are fully scaled up and we are in 13 different locations across the UK, we're going to be taking in up to a thousand entrepreneurs at a time. And for them, you know, these are high-impact entrepreneurs; they're 21st century entrepreneurs, and they need to know what those businesses need, what they're thinking, what are they looking for. Mm. Um, so, I think for, for for the bank, it's very much about growing together with those companies. It's about um, almost coming down and learning about the next generation of entrepreneurs and tailoring their products and services accordingly in the future. Well, I was going to say, I mean, they've taken such a bashing generally, the banks, and quite rightly so mm-hmm. on many levels, um, but particularly a bashing, I think, in, in you know, access to funds to small businesses and maybe even an understanding of the challenges that small businesses face. So are you, are you finding that, that the banks are also really interested in learning what's happening and, and getting quite engaged with the process? Absolutely. Um, we've got within each hatchery, we actually have an entrepreneurial development manager who, um, you know, is, is employed by the bank to be here, to be on hand, um, to learn about the entrepreneurs, meet with them, to understand their needs, actually feed those back into the bank. And yeah. um, they, they're also um, setting up an entrepreneurial development academy. So they're um, training and um, working with young people within the bank, bringing them into the hatcheries, allowing them to take part in some of our training and workshops to help, again, educate and upskill them in, in the needs and, and uh, the complexities of entrepreneurs. And it, uh, well, and it sounds such a kind of no-brainer, really, you know, the, the, the offer that you're making. I mean, are, you, are you oversubscribed mm-hmm. in the existing locations? What, what, what is the demand been so far? Um, we every we take in um, sixty to eighty businesses every six months, or we recruit on a rolling basis, right. and we have hundreds of applications coming in all the time. Yes. Yeah. And is it? I mean, is it, just to give anybody a you know a tip or a bit of it? Is there anything that you that marks out the ones that that are successful with with entrepreneurial spark? Are there any particular types of I don't know. Is there anything that people, if they're, if they're competing so against so Absolutely, many, is there a way yeah. that they can get ahead of the game? We um, we recruit based on mindset and behaviour. So, unlike a lot of business accelerators, we are a bit more of a people accelerator. So we're not just looking at the potential held by the business and the business idea. What we're looking at is, do they have the right mindset and behaviour to lead a business? Um, so we work based on growth mindset, um, and we talk. We, we provide training in, in things like how to build a team, emotional intelligence, and leadership. Mm-hmm. And so when people are coming through the door, we, we give them a very short period of time. They have 60 seconds to pitch their business and a seven-minute interview. But in that time, we can pretty much tell those who can take a challenge, who are willing to accept you know, a, a challenge and to move, you know, work out what they need to do to move on and keep moving forward. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we take a slightly different approach. We're interested in building investable, backable entrepreneurs. So no matter what happens to their current business, they, could, they are upskilled and they're investable. They can keep moving forward um, no matter what. 
Mm. Well, it's, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting approach, and uh, mm-hmm. thank you for that insight about about what uh, some of the key things that you look at. So, you were launched in Brighton in August, is that right? Yeah. Yes. Got That's it. Right. Okay. And where where are you at the moment? Where where are the other locations? So we've got uh, locations in. Um, we are in Brighton, Bristol, Birmingham, so all the bees, um, Leeds. And we're also in um, Glasgow, Edinburgh, and Ayrshire. So those are the three that we have up in Scotland. Mm-hmm. And then we are going to be very shortly opening in Manchester, Milton Keynes, and Cardiff, and Belfast. And then our final spot will be in London in 2017. Well, well, I'm very pleased to see London's been pushed to the back because you know it, 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 there's, there's, no, there's enough going on in London, frankly, for startups. So, That's uh, right. Yeah, concentrate yeah. on the regions first. It's fantastic. Um, yeah. Um, so you've pretty much covered every every base there, really, haven't you? Eventually, uh, in terms of, of coverage across the UK. Yes, I mean there there may be more in future. Who knows? Yeah. But these yeah. are our sort of core thirteen for now, and um, we've also very recently expanded globally. So we've opened our first accelerator space in India. Oh wow! In Ahmedabad in Gujarat. Fantastic. Well, listen, you've got all that uh, you've got all that lovely kind of uh, real estate of RBS and that West to play with. So yeah, the, mm-hmm. you, you can always just pick and choose your location, can't you? You don't have to worry too much <laughs> about space. But um, Eleanor, thank you so much for joining us. And it's uh, entrepreneurial uh, hyphen and spark.com and it's a, is it an online process for people to apply yeah so anyone who wants to apply um, can come to our website and um, there's an online application process followed by an interview day as I described um, we're also always looking for mentors so I mentioned our you know 50 a, me- a mentor network of over 50 different mentors at the moment but it's constantly growing and we we you know, one of the key things that entrepreneurs need sometimes is that mentor support, the, the, the wisdom and the years of experience that a mentor can provide to the process can be invaluable sometimes. So we also have an application process on the website for anyone who's interested in um, giving back some of their wisdom um, to young, lively, interesting entrepreneurs. Well, I've we've, I've discussed on a previous podcast about the, the the importance of having a mentor or someone that you can go to, particularly when you're in an mm-hmm. stage startup. So you know, absolutely fantastic that you include that. Yeah. It's a key pillar of it. The other thing that I forgot to mention, but it's it's available on the website, is if anybody wants to look at uh, what Entrepreneurial Spark has already achieved, there is an impact report on the website um, showing the support. I think it's over 350 companies already, um, yeah. and and all the data that flows from that. So that that's quite an interesting mm-hmm. read for some background. Eleanor, thank you again. Good luck. Um, I've taken you thank away you. From, from some of your startups. Are you about to go straight back into it? Yes. No, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we are seeing them almost daily. So, yeah. uh, But that's absolutely fine. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah. No, it's great to speak to you. Good luck. And, uh, and uh, well, I'm looking forward to seeing the growth of Entrepreneurial Spark. Brilliant. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. That was, the, uh, that was the Lawyer Fair Daily Podcast. It's Friday the 13th. I don't believe in superstitions, uh, but I do believe in not doing a podcast on Saturday. So I'll speak to you again on Monday. Many thanks. If you'd like to listen to more, why not subscribe and download each episode via iTunes or visit us on the lawyerfair.co.uk website.